Hi, Courtney Rolston here. I'm gonna share a recipe with you now that I cook all the time at home when I'm at a bit of a loose end as to what to cook for dinner. This is my potato, caramelized onion, and cavolo nero frittata. I'll be using Charisma potatoes for this recipe because they have a great texture for a frittata. And because from the 1st till the 28th of June, 2022, 25 cents from the purchase of every two kilo bag of Coles Australian Charisma potatoes will be donated to the Stephanie Alexander Kitchen Garden Foundation. And those donations are gonna go up to a massive $75,000. So let's kick off with the recipe. You're going to need about 700 grams of Charisma potatoes for this recipe. To prepare them for the frittata, I'm gonna cut them into a chunky dice. So you want the dice around a centimetre and a half big. So we get a nice fluffy texture on the inside, but some really nice crispy edges on the outside. And I'm just gonna repeat that with all 700 grams of potatoes. That's all of the potatoes diced up. I'm just gonna start by popping some extra virgin olive oil into a pan. That's about a third of a cup of oil. And then I'm simply going to pop our Charisma potatoes into the oil. Season them with a pinch of sea salt. Now all you need to do for around eight to 10 minutes is to keep moving the potatoes around and we wanna cook them until they get some beautiful golden edges on the outside. Now that the potatoes have got these beautiful, crispy golden edges on them, I'm gonna pop in one brown onion and that's just been sliced up. And all I'm gonna do with the onion is to gently cook this down for another, say, six to eight minutes or until the onion is beautiful and soft and caramelized. This is what you're looking for with the onions, beautiful and soft and sweet. The potatoes have all cooked through and this is just smelling amazing. You've got to spend the time on this part of the recipe to get everything cooked and get that base flavor going. The next thing to go into the frittata is a couple of cloves of garlic and I've just finely chopped them up and they're just going to need a couple of minutes to cook through. While that garlic is just gently cooking, we can prepare the cavolo nero. So cavolo nero is sometimes called Tuscan kale or black cabbage. It's got a beautiful squeaky texture, just like regular cabbage, um, and it's really, really good for you. Full of iron, full of vitamins, and it's really great in soups and frittatas. So with the cavolo nero, there's a stem and a softer leaf. So to prepare it, I find just taking the softer leaf from the stem until it's about halfway down. And then just grab your fingers and kind of just pull the leaf and you'll end up with the soft leaf and the stalk. So you want about half a bunch, Cavolo Nero. And all I'm going to do with the stems, we don't want to waste these. So I'm gonna finally chop the stems up. These take a little bit longer to cook than the leaves. and I'm gonna pop them into the pan a couple of minutes before I put the leaves in. So this is just gonna give them time to soften down. Give them a minute, cook them through with the garlic. Then with the leaves, just bunch them up and roll them to make it easy to chop. And just roughly run the knife through the Cavolo Nero leaves. And just pop the leaves in with everything else and just give them a minute to wilt down. Now, of course, you can't have a frittata without eggs. This is what holds everything together. So I've got eight free range eggs here. And in my bowl, I've got about 100 mils of milk. I'm just gonna crack the eggs in. So just crack eight eggs into 100 mils of milk. So with the eggs, I'm just gonna season with a pinch of salt some cracked black pepper. And to add a little bit of umami into the eggs, I like to put in some Parmesan cheese. So I'm just running this through a microplane and you want about 30 grams of Parmesan cheese to go into the frittata. Now just grab a fork and simply break up the eggs and the Parmesan cheese and the milk. Now simply take the eggs and pour that all over your potato mixture. I 
I like to pop a tiny bit more parmesan over the top. Can never have too much cheese. As soon as you can see the eggs are bubbling around the outside and starting to set, you know it's ready for the oven. So I've got my oven set at 180 degrees. The frittata will only need around 15 minutes. We want to get a beautiful golden top and cook the eggs through. I love to serve the frittata with a little herby salad on the top. I've got some flat leaf parsley and I'm going to add in some finely shaved lemon peel. I've got an echelot, which is a really sweet onion just sliced into rings. And I'm going to shave some extra parmesan cheese into that just with a vegetable peeler. Add in some cracked black pepper. Squeeze a lemon juice and a little extra virgin olive oil. One of my favourite herbs to go with both potatoes and eggs is dill, so I'm just going to roughly break off some fronds into our little herby lemony onion salad. Just give that a toss through. Now the frittata is looking fabulous, beautiful and golden on the top. I've taken it out of the oven and I've given it about 10 minutes just to rest. You want to make sure with the frittata that there's some movement in the pan. So to serve this, I like to flip it out onto a plate. Probably the most difficult part of this recipe. So simply pop a plate over the top of the frittata. Just clamp the plate down and we're just going to flip it over. Look at that caramelised onion, all of those crispy potatoes and that gorgeous, gorgeous bright green kale. Now just top with that lemony herby salad. As soon as that hits the warm frittata, it just brings everything to life. And that is one of my absolute favourite and simple recipes to whip up at home. All done in one pan, you can add in whatever you've got in the fridge. It's a great meat-free dinner or lunch and it's great cold the next day for lunch or even packed into school lunch boxes. That is my potato, caramelized onion, and cavolo nero frittata. 